live and in humongous color from west of the Rockies. It's Let's Make a Bacon with Ace. Another award-winning, amazing video coming to you with uh, some solar technology as well as a Blue Eddy AC200 Max, a oil heater to be able to power that down, and a can. What are we doing today? We're testing efficiencies. Testing things to see what they do. So I bought these panels, 40 of them. 240 watt panels um, and they're great love them the only negative with them though is that uh, when I got them I sprayed them down hosed them down high pressure real good and then I was like hmm took a cloth to them wiped them down cloth turns black because it's got dirt on it you can't just you know it's funny because a lot of videos I watch it's like oh well you know the you don't need to clean them the rain will clean it itself you don't need to clean it uh, my washcloth says, uh -uh, no, no, that that's bull. Uh, this is over years and years, though. I doubt that the people I bought it from cleaned it before they sold it to me because they're used. I bought, I, and I doubt the people that sold it to them or gave it to them to recycle, uh, you know, cleaned it either. But clean, good to go. But the dirt's going to come back. They've got an anti-reflective coating on there that's half worn off. And when it rains... The rain doesn't bead, kind of just stays on there. So it dries with the dirt, and then that just adds up. And over time, over the course of a year, especially where I live, both of the places I live, the homestead I live there and the farm, both have a lot of agriculture, both have a lot of tilling, both have a lot of harvesting, meaning there's dirt and dust in the air more than an average place. With that in mind, these are going to get dirty like an SOB real quick. Within one year, I'd wipe it down, it'd be black again. Well, how do I how do I avoid that? Well, very simple. Uh, I would like we'll see if I can apply a coating to these, either a ceramic coating or a uh, I got a graphite coating coming uh, later this week, and apply that and see if that makes it so that it repels the water. Which, if it repels the water, that means that the dirt that gets on it and the dust is going to be able to wash off real easy because it's not going to be sticking. It's not going to be sticky. There's some downsides though and that's what the experiment is about today. Is If I put these coatings on there, that's both of the coatings say straight out that they block UV. Is that true? To a point, yes. Do they block out all UV? Not a chance, man. Not a chance. I've seen some videos online, I think it was from Project Farm, and uh, some of the things that he, he was doing was turtle wax and stuff like that. It wasn't ceramic coating, but it didn't block out 100% of the UV. It blocked out like 5%. So, if you lose 5% by adding, 5% in power production by adding the coating, but it's not adding up that dirt over the year, which is going to be way more than 5%. That's going to be up to 20% with the dirt. Is that a better idea? Well, we're going to find out. First of all, before we start a year of testing, this is a long-term test, we're going to try this. We're going to see what the result is, how much of the power it actually blocks in this sucker before we apply any to these. Um, to do a year-long test, long-term test, to see how much watt wattage we lose off of, off of these panels by putting a coating on them uh, you know, cleaning them, uh, you know, of course, I've already done that for some of these, putting a coating on them and having it to where it's repelling the water um, compared to the panels I put up that I'm not going to be putting a coating on. I'm going to do one string with coating, one string without coating is the plan. That is, if this doesn't turn into a massive, holy crap, that was a bad idea um, kind of thing. And I have another panel I'll be doing because I realized I tried to cover half of it and because of the volts drop, too far even the ac 200 max just stops charging altogether so i was going to do half and half uh it's not going to work so i'll do a whole one with this uh and then if this works then i'll do i'll try to do the half and half on one of these panels but that is more valuable than this this springs in max you know 100 100 watts something like that it's old um old technology uh you know but uh we're gonna give it a shot I cleaned it real nice, real nice, it's clean, there is no coating on this at all, but uh, so we're going to take a look at this, 
So we got this guy here. So right now we are bringing in, see if you can see it. Come on. 65 watts. There we go, 65 watts. All right, so we got that. So that's baseline. And I'm reviewing this quick to ensure that we don't run into any issues. Why do I have the can? Very simple. You put the can on there. You see how that's not quite the way we need it? There we go. Sun moves. And I'll be ensuring this too with, uh, with after I do the coating. Okay. Line that up. Yeah. Back and fro. Great video, I know. Uh, all right, so we got it lined up. It's on the line. Maybe a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that's 100% lined up and good to go. Let's take the can off. Read, double check, ver, 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 verify. And we've got 67, 66, 67 watts. Okay, now I'm gonna apply ceramic coating. Be right back. And we are back. Ceramic coating has now been applied and has been buffed and all that stuff. Good to remove. Can is back on there verifying that we are, you know, lined up the line to ensure that we're not, you know, going crazy. It's only been a few minutes, so it's not like half the day's passed. All right, let's see what we got. Boy, look at how many less watts we've got. Oh my goodness. Oh, 67. It was 66 and 67 before. Oh no. Oh yes. So at least on a panel that has absolutely no coating on it. Boy, I'm going blind by the glare. <laughs> But uh, no, no coating on it here, um, you know. And it's got, and it's even got streaky still. See, it's got a few streaks. So let's let's go over it real good. Just make sure we don't have any streaks. That I'm not giving any possibility for. I'm just not doing it right or screwing up or whatever. And it's a pretty cool day too, so you know. Oop. All right. And I wiped it down. Well, now what? Well, are we going to lose all of our watts? We lost all our watts. No, we didn't. It's so easy to see, isn't it? 67. Yeah. There we go. 15. 67. So, no effect. So, next, what we're going to do is I catch my breath. And, uh, yeah, that is a bit streaky for sure, but, uh, you know, we'll check the video, see what, uh, see what we got. Watts-wise, no different, but this is a panel with no anti-reflective coating. So that means that it's caused no damage to the intake of a panel that has no reflective, anti-reflective coating. These have an anti-reflective coating. So... We're gonna swap it out. Swap it out, and then we're gonna try again. So we'll be right back with you. All right, now we're on to the next. Okay, so full panel with anti-reflective coating. Not everywhere, you know, like in spades, but it definitely is there. Um, to verify, just to show, cans on the line, good to go. Let's give that a few seconds to do its thing to verify get the screen back on here what are we looking at what are we looking at there we go okay 56 159 60 57 59 57 59 60 okay so there it gives our baseline, uh, also to show that there is not a cloud in the sky. 
All right. Okay. Ceramic coating time. Get ready. All right. Ceramic coating applied. It is streaky. No doubt about it. Am I worried about it? No. It's on there. And I've wiped it and wiped it and wiped it. It's just streaky. That's just the way it is. That's okay. I just don't care. It's like it's, it, it will do. This isn't a glamour job to where it's like a car to where if you have streaks, oh my gosh, it looks streaky. I don't care what this looks like. Is it going to do its job as far as repelling water? Yep. So, on the line, good to go. Can off. Wait a few seconds. All right, what am I using? Well, that's doing this double check thing. What am I using? Hybrid Solutions Ceramic Spray Coating uh, by Turtle Wax. They call Hybrid Solutions. Um, let's see. Can I, let's see. Can be used on wheels, exterior, glass, and plastics. Do not use convertible tops, flexible formula. The top allow paint to cure 24 hours before washing or applying additional coat um, used to maintain and promote uh, shine. Talk about another product. Um, yeah, dimethosilicone or dimethicone, dimetha. It's uh, silicone. You got silicone in there, so you got whatever I've you know bumped off. <laughs> Well, having this bottle wet, um, but even I think it might even say silicone there, but it's just different forms of silicone, uh, fragrances, and whatever. Ceramic coating, do I believe it's all that in a bag of chips? Huh? It's got ceramic in it. I don't care. It, uh, it's got silicone in there, and that's the most important part. All right, so after waiting a bit, what are we at? Wait a minute, that's not possible. <laughs> Better? We're not supposed to have better. We're supposed to have worse. This was supposed to be a complete failure. This was supposed to be to where you couldn't, you know, that it wasn't getting any power and stuff and things. And just so you know, yeah, I wiped it down, like, before I even started the video. Like, with water and a towel. I wiped it down. So it's not that it was dirty. Let's try me again. No, nope, nothing to do with that. So, somehow, the ceramic coating is acting as its own, like a reflective, anti-reflective coating. And if it does that, and it repels water, it's hard to beat. But that is the testing for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, click the thumbs up or thumbs down. And, uh... Uh, I got some work ahead of me, it looks like. Get to clean the rest of the 26 panels that I'm going to be taking down to the ranch. And applying, uh, well, I'm not going to apply it to all of them. As I said, I, I want to do uh, uh, halvesies. Because this will last about a year. And then it'll come off. Uh, so, uh, you know, but there won't be as much dirt in the meantime that sticks to it. So that'll be a, you know, quick clean and a reapply in a year's time. So if it, for some reason doesn't work and attracts dirt like crazy and da 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 well, I got a year to deal with it. But it probably won't, because that's what this stuff's supposed to do. It's supposed to make it so that your car stays cleaner, fresher, and uh, better, better betterments for longer. So that is all for uh, now. Hope you enjoy the video. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, much love and uh, hugs and all that good stuff, you know. Uh, and uh, hope you have yourself a fantastic day. A goodbye. Not least, we'll see if it works or not, whether you're actually able to see it. But the water repellent qualities of the ceramic coating on the solar panel. Left has been ceramic coated, right has not. It's raining. It's raining on the panel. It's raining. 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 All right. How'd she do? Well, beaten up. Beaten up real nice. There we go. You can see that. It's beaded. What's this? Oh my gosh. Gosh, right there. Look, it's a mirror. 
huh weird it's like it just holds on to the water and the dirt would just evaporate where it's at whereas this a little reflective water beating most of it just coming right off glass water just sticking and this is in a pretty decent uh, clip too clip uh, angle so, yep I think I realize what I'm gonna be doing but just to show differences between it I will only do half of the panels in uh, the ceramic coating so that uh, and mark them and they will be marked um, on the underside on the side probably two of the edges maybe up in the corner like it will be easy to tell which one's which so that I can put them all you know kind of interdispersed with the others um, but yeah this that doesn't work that's a no-go is this gonna last forever no no, does it last forever in a car? No, no, it's at least, uh, at least the stuff that I put on. It's at a year. A year's good. If it, I mean, this is one rainstorm. One rainstorm. And all the garbage in that water is going to stick right there. And there. And there. And there. And it's just going to dry there. Whereas with this, you know, yeah, there's some of the beads that aren't coming down. That aren't, you know, just sloughing off. But there's not many. So the amount of dirt that's going to build up on this guy, it's going to be fast. It's going to be fast. Even with a, a slightly dirty rain, which is pretty much going to be every rain, because that's just reality. Um, yeah, dirt will build up quick. So I am uh, I am uh, looking forward to this. So this should be interesting. Um, so I'm going to do one third third. I just realized, because I got two products. I got to test another one out. Uh, it has graphite. It's graph, not graphite, but it's graphite, I guess. It's graphene, uh, graphene uh, spray from the 303 Aerospace people. Um, it also says that it blocks UV, UV rays. We'll find out about that and see what uh, that does, if it's any different or whether I stick with the hybrid solutions. Um, I also recommend if uh, you would like a ceramic coating, not just you know, to put on not just for your solar panel, but also for your vehicle, um, I would highly recommend the, the Hybrid Solutions. The reason I chose Hybrid Solutions, one thing and one thing only. Video from Project Farm. That's it. The video from Project Farm on, uh, on ceramic coatings, that's the reason I chose that one. Very simple. So uh, I'm going to uh, leave these out to dry and then I'll move them back to their previous location. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, goodbye.